Each week, we're going to dive into some recruiting news with Houston Chronicle reporter Adam Coleman. Tonight, we talk about some of the best tight ends in the area. It's time to go next level. All right, Adam, let's talk tight ends around the greater Houston area. And one of the best prospects won't even be playing tight end this year. That's Colby Powers of Klein Collins. Despite committing to Arizona to play tight end, the Tigers need him at quarterback. What does that say about Colby's selflessness to be Collins' signal caller instead of playing his natural position? It says a lot, man. Definitely says a lot, man. And, and I think we see this in high school a lot. You know, uh, just look no further than uh, New Caney with Zion Childress, you know, and uh, kind of what he did. He was one of the best offensive players uh, in the city uh, the last couple of years, and now he's playing cornerback at Texas State. Um, same thing here, man. In, in, in Texas high school football, you kind of play where they need you. And honestly, this works out pretty well for Kobe, man. He, I, I got a chance to kind of stand next to him recently. and He is an imposing figure. And having a guy like that, you know, it's going to be hard to bring down a quarterback. But, uh, you know, look no further than his own family, man. Bryson Powers, did, is, that's his brother. Uh, Bryson Powers is a safety at Tulsa now. But I remember Bryson from his Cy Woods days. Bryson played a little bit quarterback at Cy Woods and Klein Collins. So, you know, this kind of runs in the family even, you know, where we have a situation where you're going to go D1 in another position, but at this point in time, they need you to play quarterback in high school. So this is going to be great. This is Klein, this is Klein Collins, man. They're always going to find a way to be one of the best teams in Houston. You know, Kobe's going to be a big part of that. All right, now speaking of great tight ends, Dickinson has one of the best juniors probably in the country with Donovan Green. What makes Green so dominant? Yeah, man, I just, you know, he got he got it from the jump. What, six, 600 yards receiving last year, five touchdowns as a sophomore. He's like 6'4", 220. He's a matchup nightmare. I mean, and Dickinson, you know, I have to give credit to the football program. You know, they always kind of seem like, they have some ballers like this, you know, just some some big guys who can ball on the offensive side of the ball, man. I mean, this is, he's just, again, he's a matchup nightmare, um, you know, especially at the high school level. And you just, you can kind of see it translate to a high level uh, college football. Uh, one of the best players uh, in the country overall and definitely in his class. Uh, very, very bright future for him. And it's really just only getting started. Remember, he's just a class of 2022 kid. They were just allowed to to speak with college coaches, um, you know, a couple of days ago. So, you know, this kid's a star is just beginning to rise for sure. As always, thanks for joining us, Adam.